nanotest smaller than cells is made up of light. Right. We know that all of the religions of the world say that creation started with light. Right. The Big Bang, I think that's when the hologram came on. Okay. Right. And the reason why I say that is because what most of us don't see when you hit the light switch is you get a spark from the connection making. Woo-hoo, okay, okay. Let's right. We so so okay. we 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 trace in creation back to the Big Bang. Mm. Right? But wherever the Big Bang came from, something was already there. Mm. You, you can't bang nothing that ain't there. Exactly. So this is what we call dark matter, the primordial noon or the sacred waters of creation in which all things come. Yes. Right. So you hear people talk love and light and I have to constantly remind them. Yeah, but you got to remember both the love and the light came forth and proceed from triple darkness. Mm-hmm. Right. Because the love works in the darkness to create the avatar in the womb. Mm-hmm. Right now, when you copulate when I mean, brother billy mentioned when you having a baby these two avatars come together when the rna split and recombine in the fetal cells that's data transfer mm-hmm. that's the mother side of the family's information becoming acclimated to the father side of the information to determine what kind of what kind of rover do we need to meet the qualifications from both sides of these equation Damn. right so when we looking at it, we look at it from the physical self as the primary self and all of our senses is to support the physical self. That's delusional and childish thinking when it comes to science. Right. Because epigenetics tell you that wherever we at, we ain't in this body because the cells uh, got them little antennas on the outside of them called membranes that receive the information to communicate to the DNA helix and the DNA helix going to siphon whatever it needs from the mitochondrial energy source, which is a battery. Right, right. Every single cell got its own battery. Mm-hmm. What do you need a battery for? Mm-hmm. Right. We're not looking at it. It's got to be mechanical, a machine yes. to require a battery to operate. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So Wherever we at, we projecting here. My suspicion is the dark night satellite in the moon, because the moon ain't always been there. Right, and that motherfucker take off. That motherfucker is something ain't right with that motherfucker. <laughs> it will. It's a whole ship. That motherfucker will take off, and you will look up, and be like, "Damn, what happened to the moon? I was just looking at a whole full moon, and it's just gone." <laughs> right, but whatever it is, whatever confronted is not must not be serious enough for the moon to move. But there's some shit going on up there. I can't see it with the naked eye. But my third eye keeps seeing shit all over the sky. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why we can't see it with the naked eye? So there's something going on. So it's like two things happening, layered on top of each other. And I believe that's dimensional layers. What we can't see in the 3D realm, because it hasn't materialized three-dimensionally yet. We don't call it the third ear, though. We don't identify the organ or the sensory um perception tool we using we only identify that we hear it by a term that they call clear audience okay. yeah, yeah. so you hearing all that shit you saying the song of the spheres and you get when you were talking about earlier about making the music and the music the music is light converted into sound uh-huh. okay that's you can't have a radio wave that's made up of light if the sound is not light as well mm. Right, because it has to be a it has to be a compatible medium of exchange in order to transfer from one point to the other. This is God power. This is God power tonight, y'all. Right. God power. <laughs> so, so we when you on a boat, you go from waterway to waterway because the yeah. boat is conducive to traveling water. Yeah. The boat in this case is the sound, and the sound has to be compatible with traveling on the water, which is a radio wave. Okay. Just like a boat got to be compatible with riding the river or the ocean. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. Right, because it needs certain certain parameters have to be met. Right. A lot of the stuff that we be seeing, and when I be talking about, I be seeing patterns. A lot of people don't know what I'm talking about, but it's conceptual physics being played out as what we call life. 
So conceptual physics is you don't see the numbers. You just see the description that the numbers represent it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So when you walk into the store, it's a conceptual physics formula because you take into account all of the variables between the house and the store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, you know, if everything go according to the proper math, I'm going to go to the store, I'm going to get what I'm going to get, and I'm come back home. But if somebody throw a curveball in there, right, a rogue element, that throws the whole equation off. Now you've been going to the store that's a block away for two hours. Right, okay. Right, that's physics. Right. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's the, the laws of hermetics. Action, reaction. The polar opposites, the law opposites, the law of vibration, all those things are active at the same time, telling you the physics formula for life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some I of us figure it out in some well, <laughs> all, all, it takes, it's, it's more than one sense converging on this collapsing of the wave into the particle. Yes. Right. If let's say, like Stevie Wonder, he's still performing in front of the same amount of people that we see, whether he see them or not. Mm -hmm. So if Stevie wanted to go into a concert and the concert sold 40,000 tickets and there's 40,000 people in the arena, when Stevie wanted to say how many people out there, they say 40,000, he go out there, he going to hear 40,000 people, but he ain't going to see them. We going to know what they look like with the naked eye, but he won't know what they look like. And that's he's using his mind's eye. Rod, once I don't have the avatar, I can't see you all here. I can't. None of that. Everything is going. Oh, outside of the, outside oh, of the yeah. avatar. Once we die. Once we die. Right. Well, once you outside of the avatar, you see from another perspective. Mm -hmm. Right. You got to remember, all of us are subsets of mind. We we'll go back to uh, hermetics. All is mind. The universe is mind. Three dimension is a three dimensional fixed position, fixed position, mind matrix reality, mm -hmm. meaning that. The only reason why any of this is even in existence is because enough people that was powerful enough to agree on the simulation confirmed it. Mm -hmm. They all agreed to look at the same thing at the same time and get the same perception. And this is what runs the reality. It's a big 